Verse 22 to 26, that's the normal range of by cart. So put that in the by cart box, 22 to 26. We are going to look at these values using the Rome method. I have it right here for you, Rome. Let's read what Rome stands for together. Respiratory opposite metabolic equal. What is that? So instead of me trying to explain it, I'm just going to have you do it, okay? We're going to do this together. You have this, how should the nurse interpret this blood gas? pH 7.55, PaCO2 33, bicarb or HCO3 is 36, PaO2 72. What two values do we care about? pH, pH circle the pH, just circle it, and the bicarb, right? Now, underneath here, I have the pH, 7.55. Everybody see that? Is it up or is it down? Up, draw an arrow going up. The bicarb is 36. Is that up or is that down? That's also up. Draw another arrow going up. Now, let's go back to Rome. Respiratory opposite metabolic equal. Are these arrows going in opposite direction or equal direction? Equal. So is it a respiratory problem or a metabolic problem? Metabolic. So the first part of our answer, everybody write down metabolic. This is not a respiratory issue, it's metabolic. Now look at the pH and tell me, is it metabolic alkalosis or metabolic acidosis? Alkalosis. So the answer is, you have to have two things, metabolic alkalosis. Everybody understand how we got here? Okay, do the next three by yourself. Yeah, we know that. Like, yeah. 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 Yeah
Okay, y'all talking, so I need y'all done. Here we go. Number two. How should the nurse interpret this blood gas? pH 7.10. Is that up or down? Yeah. Yeah. Bicarb 45, up or down? Uh, what kind of problem is this? Sorry, yeah. The next one is pH 7.34. Yeah. Bicarb 17. Down. Yeah. kind of problem? Metabolic acidosis. pH 7.48. Uh, and then the bicarb was 21. Down. Yeah. Yeah. Was the result? Yeah. Right. Good job, everybody. Yeah. All right. So for NCLEX, you will be able to interpret these extremely quickly. It's going to bring your passing score really quick because they're going to say, wow, this person knows arterial blood gases. You don't have to worry about uncompensated or partially compensated on NCLEX. All right. That's more of a specialty skill. I like the way you explain it. Right. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I'm glad. <laughs> Not done. There's a part two for arterial blood gases that we cannot use this method. Okay, so we got all the numbers together, but NCLEX may give you a diagnosis. They say your patient has diabetes mellitus type two. What's their blood gas? Or your patient drowned. What was? What could their blood gas be? Something like that. You can't use numbers for that. Yes, ma'am. Um, yeah, they need help. Oh, okay. No, let's let's go back. Let's go back. Okay, let's bring it on back. So you guys probably can explain it better than me if you missed it from me. Okay, so when we're doing blood gases, we're only looking at two, two numbers. Tell me what the two numbers are. For the first one? No, just no, just from the, let's start from the top of the page. 7, 3.5 to 7.45, and the other one is 22 to 26. Perfect. So the pH and the bicarb, that's all we're worried about. And I get the up and down, but where did you come up with respiratory or metabolic? From How did you know which one? Opposite. Yeah. So we're, you, if you look at the arrows as a start, if the arrows are going in opposite direction, one up, one down, it's a what kind of problem? It's a respiratory problem. And if they're going in the same direction, it's a metabolic problem. So you always have to start by identifying whether it's respiratory or metabolic. Let me do a, let me just do a, a just an impromptu one to see if you get it. Okay. Uh, okay, so my pH is seven point two nine. Okay. And my bicarb okay. is fifty. What is my tell me is this a, a respiratory problem or a metabolic problem? Is the pH up or down? Down. Down. It's down. And my bicarb is fifty, so it's what? Uh so is it a metabolic or respiratory, respiratory problem? This is respiratory. And then you just have to tell me, am I looking at acidosis or alkalosis? And you look yeah. at that by the pH. Oh, okay. Okay. Got it. Okay. okay. Thank you. All right. I'll give you some more. No, no, that, that was good. Yeah, that Thank was good. you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay. So let's go back to the diagnosis of one of the problems because we can't use, we cannot use wrong. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to ask ourselves this question. We have to look at the NCLEX exam and ask ourselves one question. I want you to write it down. The question is, is this a respiratory problem? So at the top of your page, write down, okay, they say my patient was bitten by a dog. Is this a respiratory problem? Right? So we always want to start there. So we ask ourselves, no matter what it is, is it a respiratory problem? There's only two answers it could be, yes or no, yes or no. So if it's yes, then we know we're starting off with respiratory, that's easy, okay? If it's no, it's not a respiratory problem, what do we need to put in the no box? Metabolic, it can only be respiratory or metabolic. So in the no box, put metabolic. 
to look like that. Okay, so now let's get to the outfit. Explosives will equal breathing too fast. Okay, so if the patient is breathing too fast, this goes under respiratory. Write these two things down. If the patient is breathing too fast, it's respiratory alkalosis. If the patient is breathing too slow, they're not breathing fast, they're breathing slow, they're building up acid in their body, carbon dioxide. So it's going to be respiratory acidosis. Everybody with me? Mm -hmm. All right, so now we have that figured out. Let's jump over to the next side. Let's look at metabolic. Not a respiratory problem. It's a metabolic problem. Who? It will be metabolic alkalosis if your patient is vomiting. Or if your patient is getting gastric suctioning. Because that's taking out acid from the stomach. Vomiting is vomiting up gastric acid. So it's going to put you in an alkalosis. <laughs> Acidosis is everything else. I don't care what it is. The patient's not vomiting or suction. It's acidosis. Okay. Now, let's put it to the test. Let's do number one together. Get this on NCLEX. It says, which blood gas value would you expect in a client with acute renal failure? What's the first question we asked ourselves? Is acute renal failure a respiratory problem? No. So what side are we on? Metabolic. Now, do we see vomit or suction anywhere? No. So what kind of problem is this? Metabolic. There you go. Okay. Now use this chart and do the rest of them by yourself. Okay, let's go. Question number two said, oh wait, do the rest on your own. Um, 
Which blood gas value would you expect to see in a client who was hyperventilating? This is this a respiratory problem? Yeah. Yeah. What kind? Alcohol. Which blood gas value would you expect to see in a client who had continuous gastric Suctioning. Did you get this one? Metabolic, Metabolic alkalosis. alkalosis. The suctioning there. Which blood? Which blood gas value would you expect to see in a client with depressed respirations from a drug overdose? Respiratory acidosis. Which blood gas value would you expect to see in a client who had a blood glucose level of six? Metabolic, Metabolic acidosis. acidosis. Metabolic acidosis for this one. Okay. Good job. Any questions? I did a great job. Okay, let's move on. I want into psych. I want to review psych because I, I heard y'all taking psych right now, right? Some people doing psych. Mental health cases. Okay, okay. What I've come to know is that 